Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome to the second day of my week featuring waffle flowers. For today I will be making a card using uh, this stamp set. The stamp set is called In Every Way and just because I am addicted to shaker cards I will be making a shaker card today again. So I am uh, using my dies to create a frame. So I have uh, placed them on white cardstock and secured them with post-it uh, tape and now I am going to run them through my cutting uh, machine. So now I am going to end up with a frame and this frame has a nice stitching all around. I don't know if you can uh, tell at uh, the moment but make sure to check out the photos at the end. I am uh, going to run my tape runner at the back. And today I am going to do things a little bit different. So instead of using transparency for my window, I will be using vellum. This uh, vellum is going to create a nice and soft uh, result. I am going to use my C6 machine to cut out the vellum in size. So I am using the bigger of uh, the two rectangles that I've used for uh, my frame. The vellum is now the exact same size as my frame. So I can stick one on top of the other and I can go ahead and stamp my sentiment. I, for my sentiment today I'm using the word amazing from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp it with a Versamark at the very bottom of uh, the window. Once my sentiment is there I am going to use white embossing powder and I like to use fine embossing powder so I always have a nice result at the end. And if you are going to emboss on vellum and when you want to emboss on vellum, don't forget to have your uh, heat gun ready and very warm before you apply the heat on your surface. After heat setting my sentiment, I am going to use some foam tape at the back and uh, actually create a wall which is going to make sure that all the bits and pieces that I am going to put inside my shaker card are going to stay where I, they are supposed to stay. So I am going to double up uh, the foam tape all around just to make sure that uh, all my sequins do have enough uh, room for them to move around. For the inside of my window I am going to use three different colors of sequins and I am going to add enough just because I have a big window and I want to have a nice uh, and um, full result. And just because this is not uh, transparency but uh, it's vellum you will see that at the end I will end up with a very soft uh, and um, pale uh, color of my sequins. And although this is a white sentiment over white cardstock, uh, the sentiment kind of appears when uh, the sequins go at the back and create a darker background. And I just love uh, this uh, about this card. For my card base, I've used pink cardstock and I have created a four and a quarter by five and a half standard card. And I am using the flowers for the from the same stamp set to stamp some uh, flowers here and there with my Versa marking. I am not stamping at the center but uh, rather all around the edges and I am using both the large and the smaller size of flowers. I am going to create an interesting background for my shaker card. Although you can't see anything at the moment, trust me it's there. Everything is going to appear once I heat set my white embossing powder. This is going to create a nice and uh, interesting background for my shaker card. And while I'm doing that, just to let you know that you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today just below the video in the description area if you are watching on YouTube as well as on my blog. Also, there is a giveaway that's running throughout the week on my blog for a chance to win this stamp set from uh, Waffle Flower. So make sure to join my blog and enter your name. I am adding a lot of uh, adhesive at the back of my shaker uh, window and now I am going to stick it to the center of my card base. Now I am going to go ahead and finish off my sentiment. So instead of having just the word amazing, I am going to stamp on uh, the same pink cardstock the, the rest of uh, the sentiment that says you are. I am again stamping it with Versa marking and uh, then uh, heat emboss some white embossing powder. Once everything is uh, ready, I am going to use my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut out a strip out of uh, this uh, sentiment, which I am going to stick over my card. Just to make the strip of uh, sentiment even cuter, I am going to use my scissors and create a fish tail at the end of uh, the strip.
to finish off my card I am going to add a few white enamel dots here and there on my card front. In general, pink isn't one of my go-to colors, but uh, sometimes I make cards based on uh, the colors that the recipient love. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching.